Welcome to the virtual tour of worthpoint.com, the website. Hey, everybody. Welcome. I'm Dana Crawford. I'm also known as the Power Selling Mom. I've been an eBay seller since 1997. It's my life. And I took this position with WorthPoint about four years ago, and I became the strategic director. I run these webinars and trainings and tre treasure hunts and all kinds of fun stuff. But enough about me. Let's talk about you and how you can use WorthPoint. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, we're going to go to worthpoint.com. And this is the home page. And you'll see these words across the top. So we've got price guide, maps, library, dictionary, vault, news. These are actually tabs that you can click. It's not just words. So when you click on them, they'll take you to these different areas. So I'm going to go live. Okay, so here we are at the worthpoint.com website. At the top, you can see price guide, maps, library, dictionary, vault, and news. Let's start with the price guide. So when we click that, it's also known as the Worthopedia. Over 510 million prices realized from 350 data sources. This is where you can type in an item that you're looking for. So like, let's try, oh, Batman statue bronze. You can adjust the categories if you want to only focus like on comic book area or statues. Search for items. We can see Using those words, it returned 1,641 results. Now this is where you can adjust your search from high to low, best match, sale date, low to high. You can also adjust for how many items, 20, 40, or 100 items on the page to make it a little easier for browsing. Worthopedia will be the place for you to start to look up items. I'm going to back up a minute and show you the complete home page. It's so pretty, I must say. When you scroll down to the bottom, I wanted to point out View All Data Partners. See, we have eBay at the front, and then all of these data partners, when you click on that, what this means is these are all people that we get data from. So it's not just eBay that has the completed listings, the sold listings. All of these auction companies provide data on their sold listings as well. So you can see it's a huge list. You can also go in and, and dig deeper. You can go to their website. You can go learn more about our partners, and they're awesome. Okay, now we've got the price guide we just talked about. Next we have maps. Now this stands for marks, autographs, patterns, and symbols. There's over 100,000 identifiers updated weekly. Covers glass, china, coins, currency tools, sterling, silver, all of these kind of things. So you can type in what your search term. So say I have a sterling silver piece and it has a lion on it. When I start typing in the word lion, it'll give me some examples like a lion above a ribbon. Or we could just put in lion and we could put in ribbon. All categories. And now it'll show there's 55 marks with a lion and a ribbon in it. And you can go in and dig deeper once you find the one that matches what you're looking for. Now we can say, oh, that's what this stands for. Geez, it was last made in 1952. And a line above a rib ribbon, it's got Staffordshire Potteries, Cobden Works. And these are all important words that will help me sell my items now that I can identify them properly. Now going back to the maps page, you can type in patterns like um, 
oh gosh, I can't think of a pattern now. Um, okay, let's try McCoy. And now it'll show me all the, the symbols on McCoy and so on. You could go in there and play with it. Now, when you read autographs, it doesn't mean autographs like on um, that people have signed. It means autographs that are on your items like um let's try i don't know if any will come up we'll try vera bradley nope there's no autographs on that one but you could try some different terms so you can play with this and see what kind of results that you get next we have the library the library is where you go into your library and read your books. So again, let's try McCoy cookie jar. Now, this is where I could really learn a lot about McCoy pottery. You can see there's 48 books that are in, available in the library and you can browse through and look through any of them and you could read them, you can take notes, so I'm going to go up here, and if I'm listing this item on eBay, for example, say I need to go down, and you can see you can read the book. You can save it to your favorites. Let's go to cookie jars. And this page is really interesting. You can make it bigger. You can uh, zoom in. You can highlight. You can look at two, four pages at once, and then scroll through them turn the pages, you can zoom in, and it's got a lot of features that you just have to go in and play with it. So you can look at all of these different shortcuts and examples. So the library is amazing. Next we have the dictionary. Now the dictionary is our brand new section on WorthPoint. It's actually still being populated. We have writers all over the world working on part of this. So you'll see the categories right now, advertising, alcohol, it's A through Z. Some only have a few, some have a lot. So you can see, scroll down, see sports stamps. We're still working on all of these. So they're still being worked on. Let's go up to ceramics. It has the most pages. This is huge. This is a major dictionary here on ceramics. If you scroll down, you can look at all of the different photos, different brands, and it just goes on and on. This is a huge dictionary. Asia, Japan, and then it has the breakdown. Continental Europe, you can look at manufacturers, patterns, types. North America, different patterns, types, designers, UK, Ireland. For example, let's go look at Belique. I love Belique myself. I can read about the history. I can look at all of this valuable information. I can look at the price guide and scroll on down. Now, this is the cool part that I like. I love researching and I love learning. I just can't learn enough. I love looking at marks and understanding what they all mean. Mark with a dog, a tower, a harp, and the word Belique. And if it looks like that, it's been made since 1863, and it's still being made today. So you can learn a lot by going through all of these. So interesting. I love the dictionary, so stay tuned on that. It's going to have more added soon. The Vault. Now this is where you upload your family heirloom pieces, pictures of, of course. You can add your vault items. I made a vault with my great-grandmother's um, three items that I have that belong to my great-grandmother. And I got them uploaded into my vault. And the great thing about it is when you get done creating your vault, you can share your collection. So I created a collection of my great-grandma Bessie and I can share that link with other folks. I can share it with my cousins. I have no brothers and sisters, so I can share it with all of my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, and people that are from my family that knew her. 
and people that are growing up that didn't know her and it's just a cool story to share. Other people use the vault to, to, to document their collections. I know our CEO is documenting his art that's located in his home that's very valuable to his family and he's documenting it all so that his children will be able to understand the history behind it and God forbid there's a fire or something happens he's got documented proof of all of this that was in his house so there's a lot a lot of different angles and reasons to have items in the vault join the webinar on the vault you'll get a lot out of that the next tab is the news and it has a drop down the first one is articles then we got worth point news videos and podcasts the worth point insider that's where you need to go subscribe to the worth point newsletter treasure hunts reseller program affinity partners so starting at the top we have articles upon articles of different collectibles different things happening it's very interesting I know that you'll enjoy it and our videos and podcasts this is where I actually upload my video replays webinar replays and that's where Harry Rinker has all of his videos that are so valuable and they're so fun to watch because again you learn so much then we have the worth point in oh that's the uh, worth point insider where you subscribe the treasure hunts that's what i'm in charge of and we have a couple coming up pretty soon well july and then in october we'll have more scheduled right this year is kind of crazy with the virus and everything happening but when you go to this page if you click on treasure hunting news this will allow you to subscribe to the treasure hunting news that I send out letting everybody know about the treasure hunts and then finally we have oh no we got two more to go the reseller program now it, the name is going to be changed on that to the affiliate program very soon so when you see that you'll know so you basically come in here you fill this all out and then you join our program which allows you to market WorthPoint. And when you do, and people sign up using your affiliate link, you actually receive 10% of every sale every month that um, as long as people subscribe. So it's very cool. And it adds up. So if you're already talking about WorthPoint, I suggest you get signed up so you can share your link. When you are brand new, you enter a name to use as your code. All that simply means is your, your brand, your name, um, anything that you'd like to put in there, and that will be part of your link that you share. And then finally, we have affinity partners. These are people, these are companies that have actually partnered with us. So this is one of the benefits you receive as a WorthPoint Worth Point subscriber is the ability to take advantage of the WorthPoint Partners program in which several businesses and professionals working in the world of art, antiques, and collectibles offer discounted services to you as a thank you for WorthPoint membership. So you can go down and take a look at this list. First, we have Blue Water Insurance, Evaluate. I've used them several times and fantastic. Next, we have American Quilters, Appraiser Core, Valuable Information at Collector Pro as well, Global Authentics. I've actually used them for services. They identified my George Washington signature and I got it authenticated, so I sold it for a lot more money. Then we have Quilting Sporting Classics, and these all offer discounts to WorthPoint subscribers. So there you have it, WorthPoint.com, the website. Stop by, browse around, take a look at things, and then sign up for the next webinar so that you can, um, well, to find it, let me show you. I had someone just email me that. If you go to our WorthPoint News, there it is right there. Join us for our new Wednesday webinars. And you can see the list of webinars coming up and just click on each one that you're interested 
And then again, you can also join the webinar waiting list and then you'll get invites to future webinars. So that's it. For those that were asking me about how the prices work, this is the breakdown. To just get the Worthopedia, the price guide, you would pay $23.99 a month after your trial, or you can get an annual plan and save a discount, get a discount on that. Research it, that's only using the marks in the library. Say you don't want to need you don't need the Worthopedia, then you can use just the marks in the library to do your research. Then it's $22.99, and then all access is absolutely the best bargain. It's $39.99, and then if you do the annual plan, of course you save. If you want to just take it out for a spin, you will get a free trial, seven days or seven lookups, and then once that expires, then the membership kicks in. Now it's time for Q&A. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording so that I can take some time to answer all your questions. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. This is my email, d-a-n-n-a dot Crawford at worthpoint.com. Send me a shout out if you would like a private one-on-one. -on -one. If you need some more assistance understanding the website, I'm happy to help our subscribers or anybody who's interested. Also, Facebook. Give us a shout out, leave a comment, and on Instagram as well. Follow us on both. So until next time, I'm Dana Crawford. I look forward to seeing you at the next WorthPoint webinar. Bye.